had. And it was so sudden, too. Forever. He never died before. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dear Mental <laughs> Diet. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yes, hello. Well, take a good look. Here I am, the bearded lady. Isn't that crazy? Doesn't that mess with your ideas of gender and beauty? I... I guess? Well, soak it up, because there's no reboot. Easiest job in the world. It's an easy little super glue, a <laughs> little super glue, a shave dog, and a lot of fish to do. Doesn't work. One more time, folks. The trampoline triples maneuver. Put your backs into it, boys. Not a problem. Get ready to have your mind's body slammed. Not again. Wait a second. Your legs are tinier than mine. You've been faking this for years, Gigator. Library school, here I come. Oh, ho, ho. Our wrestling slash bullying careers. Say, kid, there's an opening in the. Oh, perfect. Legs out of nowhere. This will definitely be all I need in my eternal afterlife. Goodbye, sweetie. I loved you more than I love even magic itself. Which is too bad, because if I studied magic harder, you wouldn't have died. Okay, I'm glad that's done. So, handsome, how long do you think it'll be before you get back into dating? Oh, I don't know, a few... Minutes? Well, that'd be quite the trick. <laughs> Oh. 
It's against my professional code. Oh, with the patrons, but something about him is just magic. And how does that make you feel? I've pulled back the veil between our world and the next one! What? Huh? Are there any spirits with which you would like to speak? Dad, I want to talk to my dad. He looks a little like me, only he's super old. Ghost of the skies, old dad, I command you here. What? Who called me? Dad, it's me. I... I just wanted to talk to you. To make peace about how you love lobotomies, and I love treating people without cutting into their skulls. Son, I... I... I have a mind to lobotomize you right here! You've been losing this argument for years, and now even when I'm dead, you drag me back so you can get one last word in? Of all the selfish, self-interested, totally deserving of a lobotomy actions to do! Hmm, wrong sticker. If there's a problem that can't be solved by physically modifying someone's brain, I haven't found it yet. I should have cut out his brain when I had the chance. Because I think that's what she would do for sure. Oh, Dad, that's <laughs> Whoa! I scream. I get a scream. Dog and a lot of people still have a scream. Eating burritos. <laughs> Whoa! That get a freeze. Burn! 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 Jump, Sonny! You're leaving the crowds waiting! The show must go on! Dad, I'm scared! I told you! I'm afraid of heights! They're not heights once you hit the bottom! Jump, dang it! Dad, I don't want to fall to my death. Please stop hitting my hands. Next time... I'm not bringing... The inflatable hammer! Do you like it when the cannon makes the fire come out? And I'm inside the explosion. That doesn't work. Jump. Jump right now. Come on, we're not that high up. What? What's happening? Help me, son. Dad, I can't. If I let go, I'll die. Help me, please. Dad, I'll die. I confess I cannot see the attraction to being fired out of a cannon, but I do see the attraction of being responsible for the safety of those who do choose this path.
<laughs> that was awesome. I think. Uh, what are we aiming at? How come we're not hitting the usual wall? Right on target, right? <sighs> I kinda... You know, it's not so scary when we're both hanging here together. This is the best trick ever! This is perfect! You're perfect! We'll never do that old trampoline trick again! This blows it out of the water! I'm so happy! I love you, son! And another thing, son. I... I love you. Even though we have different approaches, we're both on the same team. We just don't want to see people be sad. You're doing good, son. And I'm proud of you. You know that, right? I do now, Dad. That's my cue. You be good, boy. Hooray! At last! An emotional breakthrough! Closure. Huh? What? What happened? What did I miss? I talked to my dad. He's a ghost, and we talked, and we worked things out. I can go back to work now. Thank you. <laughs> what? Ghosts? Oh, that's crazy talk. You're crazy. What? No, I'm not crazy. He was a vision from beyond the grave. I'm not crazy. Next. I... I guess that's me. Excellent, excellent. Uh, sit down here. And tell me all about how whatever your issue is makes you feel. Oh, well, I've, I've got this giant spaghetti arm that comes out of my head. And only I can see it. Oh, but it, but it lets me read people's minds. Telepathy, huh? <laughs> Definitely sounds crazy. Ooh, but before I give you my diagnosis, uh, uh, there's one thing I'd like to try. Follow the pendulum. You are getting sleepy. You are about to tell me all your secrets. So... Dang... Sleepy... Hey, what are you doing here? This is my hypnotically induced fantasy land. Don't worry. Just behave as you normally would, knowing that I am always with you, watching and silently judging. Ah, sweet. Mmm, science. Now you do things like this in real life. Someone made a fun house based on my life? Well, as the world's foremost authority on me, I gotta check this out. Oh, sorry, kiddo, but you gotta be five foot nine and 190.2 pounds to enter this ride. That's what I am. That's actually my exact weight and height. I don't think so, buddy. It's okay, Sonia. He's with me. Oh, Dr. Brom. Welcome back. What? You've been here before? Please ignore me. Remember, silently watching. 
silently judging. Welcome to Ray's Funhouse. To ensure your continued sanity, please refrain from smoking, eating, or wrestling the animatronic people on this ride. They will bite them. I'm not even joking. Well? Are you just going to sit here? I thought you were gonna be silent. I thought you were going to be more interesting to watch. Ah well, I probably did. Maybe if I just had a quick two second long leg nap. Huh. This is among my least favorite ways to be served pie. Easily in my bottom twenties, no sweat. Ah, uh, these were happy times. I never remembered the pie fight though. Mm, and how does that feel? Ah, uh, okay. I certainly hope that I'll never find myself in a similar situation in a long range in the future. Yes, indeed. I would certainly be unexpected and not going anywhere in sight. Well, this is a waste of a perfectly delicious pie. I'll need to regulate the floor scraps afterwards. Maybe if I just. Wait. Love, Maggie McAllister. Now, what do you think she represents? I believe she represents herself. I'm in this memory. Oh, come on, man. You've got to give me something. Yeah, it's a lot easier when I'm... Here it comes, my first kiss. Your loss, mister. I'm gonna make you a man for me. Oh, but I never got to kiss her. Oh, by the time I got down from the crane, she moved on to Boris. Indeed. Is this a kissing mother? Is this a kissing mother? Until he shaped your psyche into the person you are today. Nah, man. Boris is great. Uh, the three of us played video games together each week for a long time. I'm glad they're happy. Ray. If you're not going to obsess about this until it eats you up inside, then we're both going to be here for a really long time. Come running in a mess. Play Sims. Sims. Ha. 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 Oh God, grapes! He's gonna put it in his mouth. So nasty. I've never seen another grape in a thousand years. It'll be too soon. I can do this. I can do this. Well, the upside is. This was a truly amazing break. Downside it is. I'm truly about to die. Who would have guessed I'd die? Trying to impress a woman. I guess a lot of people, actually. 
Get started. Hey, this is how I got my first kiss from Arlene. Uh, the oh God. After with a grape that I carry in my pocket at all times for just such an emergency. And that actually rescued the date. Yep. After this, we were inseparable. It was love. Hmm. Well, maybe I could argue as a cyclop in using giving mouth to mouth. Dropping hammers on people. How will even get this job? Sum of a square of the length of any two sides of a right triangle is equal to the sum of a square of the opposite side. Oh, this is take your firstborn to work day. An event that twisted your psyche into the monster you are today? Nah, oh, man. This is the day Dad got hit on the head. So in the hard hats and head safety. It's very important. Blah. Boring old old father issues. Gag me with a spoon. Come on, let's move along. There's got to be something less pedestrian here. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Beep, beep. That wasn't clear before. I'm looking for a man. Huh. Oh, if I put this on an agent's face, they'll think he's me. Oh, man, it actually worked. I'm impressed with myself. Ouch. Especially since it doesn't even look like me that much. I mean, I'm handsomer, right? <laughs> okay, okay. This makes you feel, Ray. Huh. I'm beginning to feel empowered by how I keep escaping certain death. Listen, you are doing this wrong. How come, Ray? Right? That gets me out of breath. So where do we use Okay. Okay. I thought this was a checker! Starting event! I'm way over my head here! Darn it, Ray! It's hard to focus when you shout, ooh, sit, move, and then... Ah, a big chess match. Uh, we won! It was all thanks to teamwork. Her chess smarts, combined with my enthusiasm for whatever chess is, made us unstoppable. 
This was a big moment for us as a couple. Were you breastfed as a child? Uh, doctor? We're here to talk about chess. Not feeding babies from someone's chest. Ray, I know you've got a hidden issue, and I know we will unearth it yet. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Okay, okay. Ah. Ah. Shaving her head. <laughs> the high school was a weird time for me. Yes, yes, very interesting. Uh, wait, who is Ted? Ted? I, I, I can't remember Ted. Maybe it, it was the janitor who, who wanted to be fired? This isn't the magical night I was expecting. I knew I should have shaved my head. here. What's this door? Behind it are my innermost secrets revealed? My deepest, darkest shame? Oh, even better. <laughs> this is the washroom, Ray. Ah, man. Couldn't you have done that before? I don't want strangers peeing in my brain. Well, it's a little late for that. Also, good news, I didn't pee. Oh, man! Now, here's the door with your innermost secrets behind it. Hello? Who's there? <laughs> you have a home early? What the heck is going on here? It's not what it looks like. Oh, my gosh! I've never seen anything like this in 15 years of practice. Disgusting and highly incurable. This is amazing. Uh, Dr. Richards, please. I'll hold. Bob, it's me, Brom. I've got a bad case heading your way. Yeah, totally incurable. Straight into the rubber room. Yeah. Uh, hypnosis, yeah. I'm still inside his head, actually. There's all these robots with their skin to... Yes, I know it's long distance. Bob, I'm good for it. Anyway, uh, we're going to see you at golf next weekend. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see your putting get out of that spot. Where... where am I? Oh my god, is this an insane asylum? That's crazy! I'm not insane! I've just got crazy stuff around me! Plus the magic hand that lives in my head. Well, maybe I am a little crazy. Nothing interesting ever happened. Hey, you think for a lonely band there'd be some excitement? But no. Just walking around a bunch of caged up sad people. I wish something some interesting would happen. Just once. Huh. You need to stay in your cell. <laughs> Maybe they can't see my extra legs. Maybe they will soon know my true side of four. <laughs> I'm the Black Widow, and the Black Widow is 
The Black Widow is on the hunt for new flies. Come here, now. Come here, little fly. <laughs> the perfect mate. Well, that went surprisingly well. Now to escape the asylum itself without getting spotted. <laughs>